Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you doing today? Hi. Good, teacher. How about you? I'm very well. Thank you so much for asking. Okay, how was your day yesterday? Okay. I mean, today? Or if I ask you about yesterday, you had to to speak in past tense. How was your day today? Oh, uh, also you had to speak in past tense, okay? Because I am asking how was your day. Um, if you describe, if you give more information, how how was your day? So you're going to give information in past tense. Yes, how was your day, Carlos? Uh, I was good. It was good. Okay. Uh, it was. It was a It, it was. was good. It was good. Yes, because uh, I'm asking about your day. It referred to the day. Mm -hmm. What about you, Hilberto? Okay. How was your day? Uh, good teacher was it was good okay nice it was good. welcome uh everyone this is the class 16 okay uh today is july 20 25th okay 2023 so and we're going we are going to continue uh, speaking about past tense. This unit, unit four, is uh, is about past, okay? So today we are going to continue speaking about past tense. Okay, uh, the lesson object, we have the agenda. First we have the lesson objective, then we are going to talk about past. Okay, it's missing the T. We're going to talk about past event in your work in the workplace. And at the end we have conversations to practice. The lesson objective at the end of this class, students will be able to ask and answer about past events in in your workplaces. Okay. Well, let me see. Uh, okay, we are missing students. We are just six. Five. Okay. We're going to wait another two minutes to start the class. Okay. <clears throat> Welcome, Jose Andres. Good evening, Jose Andres. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How was your day? It was very, I think, stressful because today I had to make the payroll with my co-workers. The payroll? Yeah, the payroll. Because me, my work is not just administrate for the security wars. It's, I have to do the payroll too. Something oh. like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay. Yes, teacher. Was stressful. A lot of numbers. And then you. Hello. You do uh, everything. You do everything. <clears throat> everything things. It's like that because uh, when I when oh. I need a security work, I made the interview and I have to do with my coworkers the process for the these employees. Uh, in well. I work in the in the company and then I have to administrate for the, the different security wars for bring security for the clients and two I have to make a part of the payroll for any for every security wars receive them pay <clears throat> a lot of work a lot of work teacher yeah <laughs> <So>. <laughs> 
Yeah, it sounds like a lot of work. Okay, good. Well, thank you so much for being here, everyone. Welcome to this class. Okay, as you may know, we are, we are studying past tense in the unit four. So it means that we are going to start reviewing verbs in past. Okay, so in this um, exercise, I have uh, different kind of verbs, irregular verbs. Do you know the difference between regular and irregular verbs? Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. What is the difference? The difference is for regular verbs. For example, it is simple past. I add a d, ed. Mm -hmm. Ed. Okay. This regular for by. simple past. Yeah, for simple past in past participle. Okay. Ir Irregular verb is different. Okay, the ones that we are uh that we have in in the screen now, some of them. Okay, all of them are irregular. Okay, we are going to identify here what is the pass of each verb. For example, cut. Cut. What is the past tense? Cut. The cut. same, the same, cut. right? Okay, yes. it will be the same. Okay. Okay, what about dream? Dreamed. Mm -hmm. Dream. With a T at the end, right? That is dreamed. Yes. Dreamt. Dreamt. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, in, in present is like a dream, in past is like a trend, okay? Okay, right. good. What about do? Deal. Deal. Okay, okay, good. Yeah. What about drink? Drunk. 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 Okay, drunk. Okay. Good. Okay, what about couch? Cow. Couch. Cow. Okay. The present is couch. catch. Okay, that catch. is the present. Catch. catch. In pass. How do you pronounce that, Andres? Cow. Mm, I don't know, I think. Caught. 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 Okay. Cut. 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 Yes. Okay. Can. Okay. Good. Good. Okay. Good. Okay. Okay. Come. Come. Came. 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 Okay. Came. Cost. 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 The same, right? Okay. Good. Yeah, what about draw? Draw. Ram. Mm. Draw. Drew. Drew. Okay. Mm. This sounds mm. like a uh, Ooh, okay. Draw. Drew. Drew. Uh, okay. Drew. Okay. Very Drew. good. Okay. Now pay attention to this one. What is the uh, pronunciation of simple present of this verb? How do you pronounce that? True. Mm -hmm. Choose. 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 Okay, choose. What about past tense? Yeah, how do you say? Shows. Shows. 
Okay, very good. Shows. Okay. This is u oh. like a u uh, shoes. Oh. And this is okay. Shows. Okay, very good. Do you know the meaning oh. of all of them? Do you know the meaning? ¿Saben el significado todos? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Very good. Okay, good exercise. Um irregular verbs, okay? So, now we're going to start speaking about um where do training take place in your company okay experiences that you may have or information that you may know okay where or it means the place okay where do training take place in your company who are the eligible people to go to training at your workplace uh-huh In my so, day, teacher. Yes, Salvador. Perdón, Don Gilberto. <laughs> okay. Oh, este... oh my okay. Okay, Gilberto first, and then Salvador. Go ahead, Gilberto. Okay. In my case, the in the company uh, play training in the salon, the conference. In the room, in the conference room. Yes. Okay, in the conference room. I can say, I can say multiple post room. Multiple, multiple boss? Oh. Multiple purpose, multipurpose. Oh, okay. Multipurpose room. Or multiple, multiple use room. Okay, that is used for for different uh, kind of meetings, not only training, activities. right? Activities. Different activities. Okay. Uh huh. Correct. Okay. That's yes. like a salon de uso multiple. Yes. Okay. Multiple use from. Okay. Who else? In my case, teacher, in my company, we have two options or two places. Mm -hmm. For example, the multiply useful room, like uh, Carlos said, mm -hmm. and the other one, and when we have to practice for the shoot, the shooting range. Okay. It could be both places, right? So you can like yeah, change, switch the place, I guess. It depends on the activity. Yeah, because for example, um, the first thing, the theority, uh, yeah, the theority is in the lunch room, on the meeting room, and then we, when they know the theory, they go from the practice room. So that is the shooting mm -hmm. range. Yes. Okay, theory and theory and practice, right? Theory and practice. Yes. Okay, very good. Okay, who else? Someone else? Teacher, in my world, there is a, a training room. Mm -hmm. And the second question, uh, who are people to go to training at your workplace? Is the pain of top, topic. For example, uh, if topic is um, security or safe industry, is all people, but this topic is for for training of personal is for so supervisor it depends the topics depends of the topic okay yes okay good thank you robert someone else salvador you had the opportunity now okay in the company, 
The training are in online. Online. Okay. Yes. Good. Okay, that is a different option that we have nowadays, right? Online. But also it depends on the topic, right? If we don't have to practice, yeah, that is a good option. Do it online. Yes. Okay, good job. Well, thank you so much for the ones that participated. Okay, we have here a conversation about um, experiences in the company. Okay, it is between, uh, between Mr. Let me see. Lewis and Eric. Okay. Hi, Eric. How is it going? Hello. No, it's Mrs. I'm sorry. Miss, Miss. Okay. Yeah, Mrs. Okay. Hello, Mrs. Lewis. I'm just fine. Thanks for asking. You're welcome. How was your training? How was the training? It was excellent. The speaker had a lot of experience and he was very knowledgeable. Okay? Knowledgeable means that uh, knows uh, a lot of information, right? Did he provide example of the topic he talked about? Yes, he did. And he used a computer to provide examples. Sounds good. So everything was fine, right? Well, was some minutes late. He was some minutes late and we left very late. Okay, good. And they are talking about the training. Okay, um, who wants to participate? If you want to participate, please. Raise your hands. Okay, Jose Andres, Roberto, Lady. <clears throat> okay, first Jose Andres and Lady. Can I start now? Okay. Hi, Eddie. How is it going? Hello, Mr. Lewis. I am just fine. Thanks for asking. You're welcome. How was the training? It was excellent. The speaker had a lot of experience and he was very acknowledged and knowledgeable. <laughs> Did he provide examples of the topics he talked about? Yes, he did. And, the, and he used a computer to provide examples. Sounds good. So everything was fine, right? Well, he was some minutes late and we left very late. Okay. okay, very good. Good job. Thank you so much. Okay, good emphasis there in the very uh, used, used and past tense. Okay. okay. Okay, now Roberto and Mauricio. Okay. Okay. Hi, Eric. Hi, Eric. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Let's go, Mauricio. Come on. Okay. You start? You first, please. Okay. Okay, thanks. Hi, Eric. How is it going? Hello, Mrs. Lewis. I am just fine. Thanks for asking. You are welcome. How was the training? It was excellent. The speaker had a lot of experience and he was very knowledgeable. Did he provide examples of the topics he talked about? Yes, he did. And he used a computer to provide example. Sounds good. So everything was fine, right? Well, he was some minutes late and we left very late. Thanks, Thank Mauricio. You. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Knowledgeable. Repeat that, Robert. Knowledgeable. 
knowledgeable. Okay, knowledgeable. Yes. Knowledgeable. Yes. He talked about it. Remember that when when the verb end with K, it the sounds will be like T. Okay. He talked. Mm -hmm. He talked about. Okay. He, he, teacher. Yes. Yes. Excuse me. What do you mean uh, acknowledgement? Unknowledgeable. Knowledgeable. Sorry. No, knowledgeable. Oh, knowledgement. Mm, it's not here, right? It's not here, right? No, it's not here. It's, no, okay. it's not here. Okay, it means um. It's like I'm sorry. This is like a conocimiento. It is when you are aware, cuando está usted a, está consciente que sabe algo y lo acepta. That is an uh, acknowledgement. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, okay, acknowledgement. Acknowledgement. Okay. 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 Uh, Gilberto will be next. Thank Who you. wants to participate with Gilberto? Welcome. Okay. ¿Quién quiere participar con Gilberto? Someone else? Me, teacher. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead, uh, hi, Eric. How is it Hello. Hi, Mr. Eric. How is it going? Hello, Mr. Lewis. I am you fine. Thanks for asking. You're welcome. How was the training? I was excellent. The speaker had a lot of experience and he was very knowledgeable. 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 Continue. Did he provide example of the topic he talked about? Yeah, he did. And he he used a computer to provide example. Sounds good. So everything was fine, right? Well, it was so many minutes late and we left very late. Okay. Okay, no, okay. Knowledgeable. Repeat that, please. Knowledgeable. Mm -hmm. Knowledgeable. Knowledgeable. Okay. Remember okay. when we pronounce the verb talk, talk, uh, we don't pronounce the L. Okay. No pronunciamos la L. Solo decimos talk. 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 Okay, and now we are going to add the letter T at the end. Talked. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Used. Okay. So just try to emphasize these verbs. Uh, you need to be careful with the pronunciation of the regular verbs. So we're going to see the rules. When we're going to use T, ED, or just D, the, the final pronunciation, okay? The last sounds. Okay, good. Very good job here. Thank you so much. Okay, what kind of event did Eric attend? Do you remember? Mm -hmm. What would be the answer for that first question? What kind of event did Eric attend? The training, right? 
the training because they they are um the information he is giving information about how was the training that was excellent the speaker had a, a lot of experience and was very knowledgeable so the event was the training okay what did the speaker use to provide examples do you remember what was the tool that the speaker used to provide examples? Do you remember? Uh huh. In, in the presentation. The presentation, the computer, right? That was the tool that he used to provide examples. A computer. Okay, what did Eric not like about the event? Mm -hmm. What can you infer? What he didn't like? Uh -huh. It was some late. Uh, it was late. Uh huh. That was the. That was um what he didn't like it right. So the training was late. Okay, very good, very good. Remember guys, when you read, try to um, memorize what you are reading because that will help you to have better reading comprehension, okay? Para que tengan una buena comprensión de lectura, Eh, tienen que como retener un poco lo que han leído, ¿ok? Good. Um, now we are going to provide a, our, our study a, um, a little bit about the structure of pa a simple past just no question. So you already know that, ¿ok? But just to remember that. The, st the structure that we have here is the auxiliary did, okay, did, uh -huh. plus subject, in this case, the subject is the speaker or the listener, plus verb, okay, the main verb is used, in this case, the, the second example mm -hmm. is as, and then uh, the complement, right, that was, that would be in the speech or Questions. Okay. Did the speaker use a computer in the speech? Okay. Did the listener ask questions? Okay. The answer could be yes or not. Yes, he did. No, he didn't. Yes, they did. No, they didn't. Okay. Um, remember the structure, okay? Did that is the auxiliary plus subject. Plus verb, the main verb, plus complement. That will be the structure to uh, create a simple past yes no question. Do you have questions about that? Because we're going to make examples. No questions? No? No question, teacher. Okay, no problem. No question. So, okay, so here I have a brief explanation about uh, when we are going to use T or D or ED at the end. Okay, about rules. If the verb ends in T, letter T, or a D, the pass simple uh, ending in is pronounced like ed. For example, okay, want, the verb want, the verb, <laughs> the verb want. So in past tense will be, how you're going to pronounce in past tense? Wanted. Okay, very good. Wanted. Want wanted right Want. so it means that wanted 
Okay. It means that ending with T, that is T, ending with T, One, or a D, or a D in the other example is and. So the pronunciation will be ended. Right? Wanted or an ended. Okay. What? That is that is the rule. If the verbs end with T or a D, the uh, pronunciation in past tense will be with E D. E D at the end. Okay. Okay, good. Um if a verb ends e in a voiceless sound such as okay f s sh, sh okay or k the past simple ending is pronounced in t for example we have here these examples okay stop stopped okay in past tense stop mm -hmm. Watch, watch, watched, watched. Watch. Okay. Remember the the sounds. For example, cook. That end with. K. So the pronunciation will be. Cooked, right? Past tense. Okay, it sounds with t. So you have to memorize that. Okay, the sounds. Okay, if the bird ends in another voiced sound, the past simple ending is pronounced with D. Okay, for example, play, okay, played, and allowed, allowed, okay, allowed. So you have to pay attention just if that is ended with T and D, Okay, the pronunciation will be like ed at the end. If if the verbs end with these sounds that you can see here, will be with will be with t. Okay, and the rest will be with d. Okay, here I have a um link that I will send to you in order you can practice. Let me send it by chat. Okay, and then as T. Okay, all of these birds that we have here and with the sounds that I told you that eh, that will be end with T. Okay, let me send the link, the same link that I have here. Uh, in order you can uh, practice when you have time, okay? For example, we have asked, okay? Baked, baked, broached, cooked, okay? Cracked. Crashed. Okay, this one can be uh, the bird dance is plus T. Okay, but this is an exception. Okay, danced, dressed, dropped. Escaped. Okay. So all of them here you have. You can search and, and practice all of them. Okay. Then we have with ED. Okay. With D. Okay. The final sounds will be just D. Okay. Um for example, advised, agreed, allowed, answered, 
appeared, arrived, believed, belonged, okay? All of them. So, there you have, in order you can practice the sounds. And apply the rules, okay? Here we have uh, separated. We had for each sound the examples, but um, you can find more bears, okay? And then with ED, okay? Accepted, afforded, okay? Arrested, attended, collected, contacted, counted, decided. Okay, here you can see all the verbs ending with T. T, 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 and ended with D, okay? Decided, defended, demanded, divided, ended, expanded, expected, exported, okay? All of them. So a lot of examples you can find here. And the explanation, of course. You have more explanation. So, um, how you are going to learn the rules and how you are going to memorize the sounds, okay? Review and then, and practice them, okay? Porque si no, si no los memorizamos, esto es más, más que todo de memorizar, okay? Uh, algunas veces no es necesario memorizar para que usted pueda aprender el idioma, pero... Otras veces sí. Esas son reglas del idioma inglés que usted tiene que memorizar para aplicar una um, pronunciación correcta del idioma. Okay. Do you have questions about this? Ajá, Mauricio, do you have questions? O Se quedó con la manita levantada. All of, them, all of them verbs, teacher, are uh, regular. Regular. This, yes, these rules and this is past tense, regular verbs. Okay. All of them are regular. The irregular, you know that they change. The pronunciation and the spelling will change. Okay, like the examples that we that we studied at the beginning in the first activity, right? All of them were um, irregular verbs. Here, as you see, we don't add ed at the at the end. Okay, no agregamos no agregamos ed al final. So el verbo algunos son iguales, pero otros cambian. Spelling and pronunciation. Okay. 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 Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Here we have another exercise. I want that you um tell me uh which sounds okay for each bird. Okay, for example, let me see, lady, okay, this one. Please pronounce the bird and tell me which is the correct sound. Watch it. Are you sure? Um, no. Okay. Watch. Uh -huh. Watched. Okay that, okay, that means that it belongs to the sounds. Uh -huh. Some tea. 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 Okay, washed. Okay. Okay, Mauricio. Okay, next. Next. 
play. Hello, as... teacher. Okay, the verb in, in present is play. What will be the pronunciation in past? Played. Played. So it means that will be here, right? Okay. Played. Okay. 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 Uh, Gilberto. What about this one? Cook. Cook. Simple. What Cook. will be? What will be the ending? Letter T. Cook. Cooked. Okay. Cook. Very good. Yes, that is. That is correct. What about next? Okay. Robert. Mm -hmm. Is a study is, is studied D letter D. Okay, letter D. D. Okay. Yes. Letter D. Studied. Okay. Studied. Um Okay, Jose Andres, what about this one? Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. Next. Watch, watch, watch. Okay, with T, right? Yes. Okay, good. Let me see, Carlos. What Hello, about? Teacher. Hello. What about this Hello. one? Can you hear Danced. me? Okay. Uh, danced with T. With T? Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, that birth. Uh, has like two pronunciations, okay? Because I, I doubt that is with T. According to the previous exercise, it says that was with T, right? So, but we're going to see when we verify. Okay, what about yeah. next? Yeah. I I have a question, Dant, no, it's D, letter D. Letter D? danced okay danced yes in the previous example you saw again in the link lsd you saw that it says danced right so it, it could be both some verbs uh, or some words they have both two pronunciations that are valid okay mm -hmm. thanks oh, okay okay Okay, what about next? Uh, Salvador. Pronunciation de clean. Clean? Uh -huh. What will be the, the pronunciation in past tense? C clean. <laughs> clean. Clean. Cleaned. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, Liliana, what about this one? Worker. You said wor worker? Worker. D. Mm, no, remember. Remember. And then with letter K, the pronunciation will be in? Letter T. T. Okay. Letter T. Word. 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 Okay. Okay, what about this one? Jump. What will be the, the pronunciation in past tense? Letter T. Jump. Letter T. T. Yes. Okay. Jump. Letter T. Okay. What about love? D. D. Loved. Loved. Okay. Okay, good. Hazel, what about uh 
start Hazel Are you there? No? Okay, uh, Maria Leticia? Oh no, Maria Leticia will be just listening. It's okay. Rolando Danilo? What about this one? Start. Stark. Stark. Mm, remember, ending with T. T. Start. What's that? Started. Started. Oh, started. Start, started. Started. Mm -hmm. Okay. Started. But it will, ah, okay. will, will end with ED. Okay. ID. Okay. okay. Um, Cindy, are you there, Cindy? Yes, teacher. Okay. What about end? Letter D. End. Remember, the letter T and D, the final sound will be ID. Mm -hmm. End it. End it. Mm -hmm. End it. Okay. Okay. Uh, William Roque, are you there? Are you available? William? No, uh, not, not teacher, ahorita voy de camino a la casa. Ah, no problem. Julio Paz? I'm here, teacher. Okay. Uh, so what about this one? Like? Like. Uh, like. One second, please. Uh, like. Uh, like. With D. D. Like. Like. Okay, that will be with. So. Okay, listen. I will. I will. I will play that sounds for you. Liked. 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 Okay. La light. Liked. Okay. Like. Oh. It will be with T, okay? Light. Light. Um, light. Consulta, teacher. El verbo sería like. Termina en E. No el verbo original. Es que el verbo, eh, yo le estoy diciendo el verbo en, en simple, simple uh, present, se lo estoy diciendo en presente y usted me lo va a decir en pasado. Ok, pero... El, uh -huh. The sounds yeah. will be ended with T, ok? Light. 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 Uh -huh. Light. Ok. Light. What about... Light, Light yes. because the final sound is... K-E, light. I'm sorry, Robert. Next is on BCD. Wow. Next will be? BCD. Yeah, because it's ending with T, right? Yeah. Okay. What about next? Walked, letter T. What? What? Okay, letter T. Walk. What about brooch? Brush. Brushed, letter Brush. T. Okay, brush. Brush. Okay, what about prepare? Prepare D. Letter D. 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 Okay, what about talk? Talk. Letter T. T. Okay. What about keys? Keys. The, keys. The, keys. The letter D. Letter? T. T. Right? D. 
Or this. Yes. This. T, right? Kissed. Okay. What about what about punch? Punch stitch. Punch. 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 Okay. Punch. Sorry? Hola. Punch. Sí, estaba tratando de asimilar esto porque yo le decía sobre like que termina en E, pero no es en qué letra termina, sino cómo suena al final. Pareciera que es como una K. Like. Ah, algo así me Entonces, dijeron de que wow. Correcto. Sobre el sonido, es sobre el sonido que tiene al final, ¿verdad? En base a ese sonido, diríamos si se pronunciaría en pasado como T o D. Es así. Correcto. Uh -huh. Gracias. Muy bien. Ok. Por ahí, por ahí escuché un audio o qué es. <risa> Mr. Rolando. Ajá. Teacher, I have a question. Yes. Eh, quizás con la pregunta de Julio, si ¿sí hay unas letras que nos van a, a dirigir si es letter T, D o ID, pero hay algunas que son excepciones como like, de que el sonido es de K, por eso va en T, light. Correct. Is correct? Yes, that is correct. Ok. Ok, good. Uh, uh -uh. I don't know, I have to check this because I don't have it. No me aparece la forma de, eh, de, de revisar. Ok, no la tiene. Ok, but that is, that is why uh, I'm doing this exercise, ok, to help you to identify the sounds, ok? <clears throat> Remember, <clears throat> all the verbs ending with T, Okay, that is start, okay, visit, or with D, in this case with end, okay, will, will, the sounds will be ID at the end, okay, started, ended, visited. Complicated, uh huh, what else? Try to remember verbs that end with T or D. Complicated. Mm -hmm. That is one verb. What else? ¿Qué más? Another example that you have? Walk. I'm sorry. Walk. Walk. Yes. Walk. Walk. Like coming out, you said? Yes, yes, that is. Uh, yes, but, that, but that will be with T. Okay. Walked. I'm sure what's been with call. Called. Cold. Mm -hmm. Cold. Cold is with D. With D. Mm -hmm. Cold. 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 And, and cook. Cooked. 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 With K and with T. T. Mm -hmm. Cooked. Correct. Okay. Safe. And listen. Safe. Safe. Listened with D. With D, listened. Listen. Ah, okay. mm -hmm. And chat? Chat is ending with T, right? Chat it. Chat it. Chat it. Chat it. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. And one, um, you know. Uh, stop. Stop oh. ending with P will be with T. Stop. 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 Wait. Stop. Wait. We ended Wait it. With... Wait it. Uh-huh. Okay. It. There you can go to the link that I sent to you. There there you have more examples. Okay. That you can uh review. Okay. 
if you have we are going to study uh these these past tense this this week okay toda la semana vamos a estar estudiando este tema so it means that um we are going to review more examples with this okay let me tell you the attendance now okay uh carlos present teacher okay cindy janet present teacher daniela daniela no it's not here okay gilberto present teacher okay juliana is not here uh hazel Hazel. Sí la vi unos minutos, pero se desconectó. Ok, José Andrés. Present teacher. Ok, Julio. Okay. Hola, hola, teacher. Hi. Hi, thank you. Ok, Carla y Barry. Katy. Katy, tampoco está Katy. Sí, Hazel sí está, pero de oyente. Ok, Katy no está. Lady. Present. Ok, Liliana. Liliana, presente. Ok, María Leticia está de oyente. Ok, Mauricio de Jesús. Present teacher. Thank you. Hello, teacher, present. Thank you, Mauricio. Robert. Present teacher. Okay, Rolando. Present teacher. Okay, Salvador Alberto. Present teacher. Silvia. No se le ha arreglado el micrófono aún. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> es. No sé, creo que tiene que cambiar de micrófono. Ok, Wilber Francisco. Wilber. Wilber no está. Snow here. Ok, no. Ah, uh, en William. Roque is here. Ok. Thank you so much. Is missing Wilber. Katy, Carla, Juliana, and Daniela. Okay. Well, thank you so much, everybody, for um uh, for your attendance. Okay, we're going to continue. So, I have another exercise here about present past tense. Teacher. teacher. Yes. Me tuve que cambiar de equipo. Uh -huh. Present. Okay, thank you, Silvia. Sí, porque el micrófono was not working, okay? Thank you so much. Okay, so we're going to continue uh, studying uh, past tense. I have here a conversation, okay? I have four conversations, four uh, short uh, conversations. Listen to them because later we're going to, re to, to practice them. And we are going to make a little quiz about the, the conversations, okay? So there you have the script and also the audio. I will play that for you. Conversation one. What did you do yesterday? Nothing much. I just stayed at home and cleaned the house. How boring. Yeah, it was. And you? What did you do? I drove to the mountains and went hiking. That sounds fun. It was. I had a great time. Conversation 2. Did you do anything this weekend? I did. I took the train to the city and met my friend. Oh yeah? What did you do? We had lunch and did some shopping. Did you buy anything? No, I didn't. I just went window shopping. I'm trying to save money. Me too. Mm -hmm. Conversation three. How was your day? Terrible. 
I was so busy. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah, we were so busy at lunch. One person called in sick, so we were short staffed. Oh, that's no good. How did you manage? The boss came in and helped us. Conversation four. Did you talk to Bob? I did. He said he was sorry. What did he say? He said he didn't mean to get mad at you. Well, he did. He made me cry. I know, but he is really sorry about it. <laughs> okay, now you know how to say vitrineando, okay? Window shopping, that is vitrinear. <laughs> okay, window shopping. Yeah. <laughs> okay, do you have another question here? Technical form to say vitrineando, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, window shopping. Window shopping. <laughs> okay, another word that you may found here. What's mean ma mal? Mad means ah uh, enojado. Ah okay, enojado, upset. Correct. Okay. Thank you. He may, he may say it out. He made me cry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Okay, what else? No more? Okay. Mm -hmm. Drove t shirt. I drove to the mountain and went hiking. I the conversation. Okay, you know, drive. Ah, manejar. Mm -hmm. Very Manage. fast. I drove. Drove, correct. I drove to the mountains. Correct. Mm -hmm. I drove to the mountains and went hiking. Pero es como manejé las montañas, así es. Manejé para las montañas, o sea, me fui manejando las montañas y luego fui a, a hiking. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Hiking. Yes. Okay, volunteers to practice the, pro the pronunciation of these dialogues. Okay. Need to check. Okay. Okay, dialogue number one will be Mauricio and Julio. Okay. What did you do yesterday? Uh, nothing much. I just stayed at home and cleaned, and cleaned the house. How boring. Yeah, it was. And you? What did you do? I drove to the mountains and went hiking. And that's uh, it's on fun. Fun. It was fun. I, Okay, it was. I had a great time. Okay, thank you. Okay, emphasize the pronunciation of the past tense, okay? Stayed, okay, stayed at home and cleaned the house. We did. Yes. Mm -hmm. Both. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much, Mauricio and Julio. Okay, now... Robert and Cindy. Okay. Cindy, are you ready? Number two. Okay. Dialogue number two. Number two. Did you do anything this weekend? I did. I took the train to the city and meet my friend. Oh, yeah. What did you do? We have lunch and did some shopping. Did you buy anything? No, I didn't. I just went window shopping. I am trying to save money. Me too. Thank Thank you. You. Okay, very good. 
Thank you so much. Now will be Carlos and Lady. Number three, dialogue number three. Okay. Uh, how was your day? Terrible. I was so busy. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah, we were so busy at lunch. One person called in sick, so we were short sure stuff. Stuff. That's not good. How did you manage? They came in and helps. Helps. Okay. It's missing information here, right? The boss came and helped us. Okay. Here was mean short staffed. Short staff. 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 Y, y, corta personal. Ah, okay. We're short staff. Mm -hmm. mm, so we were short staff. Ah, okay. I got it, teacher. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Cold. O sea, que alguien llamó que estaba enfermo y nosotros cortos de personal, o algo así. Uh -huh. Ok. Ok. Emphasize the pronunciation of this verb. Cold. 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 Ok, very good. Thank you so much, Lady and Carlos. Hmm, now will be uh, Gilberto. Who wants to participate with Gilberto? Me, teacher. Okay, Salvador, go ahead. Sorry, Don Salvador. Okay, did you talk to Bob? I did. He said he was sorry. What did he say? He said he didn't mean to get mad at you. Well, he did. He made me cry. I know, but he is really sorry about it. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. Okay, the dif the difference between present and past. This verb. Present is say. Así como lo escuchan, say. Okay, past is said. 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 Okay. He said he he didn't mean to get mad at you. Okay. Okay. Very <laughs> good. Good job. Thank you so much. What's good practice? Do you have questions about this? Okay, checking the grammar. As you may see, if you see here in the four conversations, we have different point of grammar. Okay, in the in the point one, we use the simple past to talk about completed event. For example, um, Mauricio, do you mind if you read the examples for point one, please? Okay, teacher. Point one. Mm -hmm. uh, number one, we watched a really good movie. I went to Nepal for a year. I played tennis when I was a kid. They bought a new house. Repeat the pronunciation of this verb. We watched. 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 Mm -hmm. Repeat the pronunciation yeah. of play. I played. 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 Mm -hmm. okay. This is with T and this is with D. D. Okay. Okay. Thank you okay. so much. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Point two. Affirmative sentences. Use the past tense for other verb, which often is an end ending. Okay. Uh, Carlos, do you mind please if you read the, the examples? Okay. 
he stayed at he stayed home and studied studied he worked up late last night she cooked a big dinner he washes and ironed the clothes i don't know teacher <laughs> okay remember we've ended with uh k or k sounds is a pronunciation with t okay i cooked cooked she cooked and, a big yes. dinner mm -hmm. also here how do you pronounce that uh, worked okay good and then the worked. Uh, yes that is correct worked okay and then in, in sh what is this what is the final pronunciation final sound he washed with teeth okay oh, washed teeth. washed okay washed Okay. This one is with D, okay? Stay. Stay. Mm -hmm. He stayed home and studied. Correct. Okay. Stay, I don't with D, okay? I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay, point four. Many verbs have irregular form that is not at an ending, but rather in a special spelling. Okay. Please read the examples. Only the examples, okay? Don't read the the, the verb between parentheses. Uh, lady. Yes. Mm -hmm. Just read the examples. I met you last night. Okay. We we have dinner at the new coffee. We ate their pasta. Later we saw a movie. It made me cry. I'm it made me cry. He bought dinner. So I paid for the movie. I paid. I paid for the movie. For the movie. Okay. Very good. Thank you so much. Okay. My pleasure, teacher. Okay. Okay. Another point. Well, that was three. This is four. For WH questions, use the after the question word. WH means what? Where? and cool wh words okay examples here we have the questions and we have um the answers okay uh sylvia do you mind if you read this please so yeah what did you do on the weekend mm -hmm. is a uh, state Home and study. Okay. Where, where did Roy go on the weekend? He went to Devon. Who did you meet? I meet Susan. Okay. Remember, in present is meet, but in past is met. Uh, meet and meet. Uh. Yes. Okay, good. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Okay, after the, the WH question, we're going to use did. What did? Where it did? Who did? Okay. Thank you so much. Point five. For yes, no questions, we use did to start the question, indeed, in short answers. Jose Andres, please. Yes, teacher. 
Mm -hmm. Point five. For yes, no question. We use did to start the question. And did and short answer. Did you go out on Saturday? Yes, I did go out. No, I didn't go out. Did you see Roy? Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Okay. Thank you so much. As you can see, okay, uh, the yes, no questions. We always were going to start the question with the auxiliary, did, okay? And the answer, it depends if that is yes or not, but always will have did in the answer. Yes, I did or no, I didn't. Okay, good. Number 6.6. .6. For negative statements or, or negative sentences, right? Just add did not or didn't before the, the base verb. Means the same. The difference is that uh, here is normal and with the apostrophe is abbreviation. Okay. Robert, do you mind if you read this, please? Hello, teacher. Hi. Number one, I did not have time to go to the party. I didn't have time to go to the party. She did not like her dinner. She didn't like her dinner. She, the trains did not live on time. The trains didn't live on time. Okay, good. As you can see here, we have the same sentence in in the two ways, in the two forms. Okay, normal Teacher, and abbreviation. Yes, I have a question with with conversation past. Uh, for example, the the sentences say I saw. I saw the movie. What is the difference we saw and watch? Okay. It's almost similar, right? Let me Google it. Let me see what says Google. But as you know, it's almost similar, right? Okay, for example, okay, difference between watch and see okay when you use the word see it refers to an action where you just notice or catch sign or something okay and the verb watch on the other hand means that you pay attention to something that you see or spend time observing. For example, you see a picture, but you watch a movie. Okay, that is the difference, okay? If you spend time observing, that is watch, okay? Como es que es más profundo, eh, con más detalle, okay? But if you just see, it's como um, más, como decirlo? Una pasadita. Una, una pasadita. Mirada. Ajá. Okay. Una miradita. Yes. So, mm -hmm. gram okay, gramáticamente está bien decir I see the movie, right? ¿Dónde estaba eso? En el ejercicio anterior estaban en las conversaciones. Ok. Si usted no, no, no vio la, la, la película hacia detalle, es válido decir I see the movie. Pero I si usted la movie. vio, ¿dónde, ¿en cuál conversación estaba? No sé si era en la 3 o en la 4 que estaba. Ah, oh, pues no, en la siguiente. En la 4 o 5. Solo exageran. Uh 
Uh -huh. <clears throat> no, no está acá. Pero I understand your point, ¿ok? Ok, uh, yes. Ajá. Uh -huh. If you, if you just... Uh, Sí, de movie, puede ser que la, usted la puede ver quizás en, eh, en, una, en, ¿qué? en un anuncio o en pantalla, but you don't, you don't watch the movie, no la ve completa, no la ve con detalle, no la observa, so you can use see. I see the movie. Uh -huh. Okay. So that is the difference. Estoy más atento es I watch. Correct. I watch. Correct. That is the difference. Teacher, when uh, passing outside a house, I see the movie. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. Yes, that is a good example. In the window of the neighborhood, maybe I, <laughs> I see the movie in the TV. Yeah, that is an example. Okay. Okay. Good. Um. Thank you so much for that question, Robert. That is a good question, okay? So we were here. Okay, I don't know if you have any additional questions about these conversations. No? Okay, good examples about grammar here and good practice about pronunciation. Do you have questions about grammar, past tense? I think that the past tense is a little bit more difficult, right? Mm -hmm. mm. It's it, depends. It, 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 depends is, it is. It is. Okay. But uh, it is not too difficult because uh, in English we have 12 tenses. Okay. Tenemos 12 tiempos. So far you have you have studied just two. Present and past. Right? Solo esos dos han estudiado. Only two. <laughs> Solo esos dos han estudiado. Right. Nos faltan diez. Yeah. I am. <laughs> yes. Correct. So, it, when, you are, bendito, teacher. when you are in intermediate, or a, or a... <laughs> <laughs> so, but don't worry, <laughs> don't worry. So, if 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 you practice, you know, you will you feel then easy. Okay. Yes. Yes. I got it, teacher. Yes. Okay, so let me continue the quiz. I don't know. Uh, it's not available, I guess. No, no está disponible. Well, no problem. We're going to continue. Okay, here we have examples, okay? Write simple past question using the verbs and in, in pronouns in parentheses. Take turns asking the questions you wrote to your classmates. Okay, we are going to use uh, the um, pronouns that we have here. You, she, they, he, you, it, they, he. And the verbs that we have here, okay? Met, sorry, meet, attend, stay, pass, have, start, leave, arrive. Okay, but we are going to use the structure that we already learned. Do you remember the structure that we learned? Did plus subject plus verb plus complement. But if you want to take a picture, do it to implement that structure in the questions so that, that you are going to create. Okay, there you have them. I will give you... Eight minutes, one minute for each sentence. Okay, we have night 22 and night 30. I will ask you the, the questions that you have created. Teacher, may I um, show the preview structure grammar, please? 
here. Let me send a, a picture to your group. Here we have it. There Thank you have you, it. Teacher. You're welcome. It's missing one S here, okay? Past is double S. If you are ready, please let me know. Just raise your hands when you are ready. Let me see the chat. They did. Okay, no problem, ladies. Okay. Por el momento aquí sigo, mis. <laughs> so you you know all all the country, lady. You travel a lot. Yes, uh, four hours. Uh -huh. Four hours. Wow. Mm hmm. Okay, Jose Andres, are you ready? Yes, teacher. Okay. Done, teacher. Done. Okay, good. Okay, just give me number one, Jose Andres. Did you meet your boss yesterday? Okay, very good. Did you meet your boss yesterday? That is the correct uh, question. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Carlos, give me number two. Uh, did she attend the July conference? Okay. Did she attend the July conference? Okay. Good. Thank you so much. Okay. Mauricio, are you ready? Number three. Uh, yes, teacher. Did they stay in the meeting last night? Okay, very good. 
Thank you so much. Robert? Okay. Number four, Robert. Number four. Did he pass the test? Okay, yes. Excellent. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Liliana, number five. It is our own time. I find my <laughs> number five. Yeah, okay, okay. You have found the Christmas party. Okay. How will be the complete question? Did uh huh? Did you have fun you at the Christmas party? Christmas party? Yes. Okay, thank you. Um, Sylvia, number six. Sí, teacher. Number six. Sería. Mm -hmm. It, 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 it is. Ah, no, sería. Is it a star on time? Did okay, did it? Uh, did did it start on time? Yes, did it start on time? Okay, thank you. Okay, number seven, Hazel. Are you there, Hazel? Okay, Salvador, Alberto, number seven. Salvador is not available. Okay, Gilberto, number seven. Okay. Did they leave early? Okay, did they leave early? Okay, good. Thank you so much. Cindy, number eight. Did he arrive on time to the conference? Okay, very good. Okay. Very easy. Just is to add the deed at the beginning and then and then everything is the same, right? Remember, did is first, then is the pronoun, and then the main verb plus complement, right? Very easy. Okay, now we have, we are going to write seven questions about past events and interview one of your classmates, okay? Then share answer with your class. Okay, so please write the seven questions. Then you are going to select someone. Van a seleccionar a alguien para entrevistar. Interview oh one of your yeah. classmates. I'm sorry? And later you are going to share the answers, okay? Once that you interview one of your classmates, you are going to, to share the answers that you receive from your classmates, okay? For example, I'm going to create one. Let me see. Example here. Let me see. Sylvia. Did you work? Did you work yesterday? <clears throat> What will be your answer, Sylvia? The answer sería, yes, I did. Okay. 
Yes, I did, right? Okay, good. So we're going to create another the another way. It could be in this case, did Sylvia work yesterday? If there, if her answer is yes, I did. Yes, she did. Okay, it is optional if you want to provide uh, more information. For example, she worked. From 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. It is optional if you want to provide that information. Okay, there you already have the, the, the answer for your question. So now how are you going to report that? Okay, how are you going to share that information? We're going to create like a report here. Okay, estamos, ya estamos um, compartiendo la información que yo hice, que yo entrevisté, que yo entrevisté a Silvia, que yo tuve de la entrevista. You're going to say, uh, Silvia word yesterday okay she word from seven a.m. to three p.m. Sylvia worked yesterday. She worked from 7 a.m. to 2, 3 p.m. And you can continue giving more information that she told you, okay? This is just one example, but you're going to create seven questions for that person. And then just you are going to provide the information that you have, okay? No, they are not equations, just the information that you got from the interview. Okay, is it clear? Si está claro? Yes. Okay, good. So, do you want to use, uh, do you want that we create like a rooms to interview the person? Or we can do it by using Padlet. Lo podemos hacer solo de forma escrita o también uh, interview uh, like a conversation. How, what do you prefer? ¿Qué prefieren? What's in Padlet, teacher? Padlet is uh, the tool Share. that we use uh -huh, to write. La que usamos para escribir. Ah, okay, okay. Yes, yeah, could be, teacher. For me, it's, it's nice with Padlet. Padlet is okay. Okay. Good. Let me... Open one Padlet. Okay. So you can start creating your questions, okay? Pueden comenzar a crear sus preguntas en okay. lo que yo les doy el link.
Okay, there you have the link. Okay, let me let me create the Okay, let me see. Mauricio choose one one of your classmates. Mauricio, are you there? Mauricio, can you hear me? Okay, Carlos, can you yes. hear me? Okay, yes. okay, choose one of your classmates. Um, Robertio. Okay, Roberto. Okay, Carlos and Roberto. Okay, okay. Gil Gilberto, tell me, choose one of your classmates. <clears throat> um, with Rolando. Rolando? Okay. Thank you. Okay, Liliana. Who will be your partner, Liliana? Liliana, Laura? Okay, Jose Andres. Who will be your partner? Mm, Cindy, teacher. Cindy. Cindy, are you there? I hear teacher. Okay, thank you. Sylvia, are you are you there? Um, Sylvia. <laughs> lady? Mm, lady is busy at this moment and she's yes uh she told me that she uh, is not available she will be just listening okay los que están de oyentes no los elijan por ejemplo carla eh, william daniela mm -hmm. uh wilbur Todas ellas están de oyentes y Lady que también está de, ya va a estar de oyente. También María Leticia está de oyente. Lo único que no le han puesto ahí eh, que están de oyentes. Ah, entonces sería eh, Gilberto. Gilberto, he will work with Rolando. Ok, let me see. Salvador, are you available? Yes. Ok, Silvia en Salvador. Ah, ok. Okay, uh, let me see. And who else is available? I guess only you guys because the rest is uh is just listening. Liliana, are you available? Liliana Laura Teresa? Yes, teacher. Okay. Uh let me see. Mauricio, are you available? Mauricio? Yes, teacher. Okay, Liliana with Mauricio. Okay. Okay, I have Carlos, Roberto, Gilberto, and Rolando, Liliana and Mauricio, Jose Andres and Cindy, Silvia and Salvador. Okay, and the rest, I guess they are just listening. Uh, if you are available, please let me know, okay? Okay, okay, how you are going to do this? For example, you go here, okay? Okay, Carlos, you are going to start the conversation. And then Roberto will reply. For example, you can say, uh, first is write your name. Then you can say, what did you do yesterday? For example, and then you publish this. And then Robert come here and reply your your question. 
I went to the cinema. With my family. Reply, enter. Okay, that's it. And th that is the way that you are going to uh, to have the conversation, okay? In written way. See? Okay, teacher is correct. Uh, like, write down. How many times did you shower yesterday? <laughs> yes, mm -hmm. it is. it is correct. It is correct. How many times did you show okay. yesterday? There you have the, you have to answer the, uh, you need to reply the answer, Robert. Okay. Here. Yeah. Do you okay. have access to the reply, Robert? Um. Yes, I have my, my answer for the question. Okay. Good. That is a way that everybody is going to work. Okay. Go ahead. Oh, Gilberto, you will be the one that start the conversation. And then Rolando yeah. reply. Liliana, you will start the conversation. And then Mauricio reply. Jose Andres, you will start the conversation. And then Cindy reply to you. Silvia, you are going to start the conversation. Then Salvador reply. So seven questions in total. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Thank you. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Sí, don Gilberto. Ahí, yes, ahí, ahí, ahí la, la pregunta, ¿verdad? Para que me la conteste. Yes. Answer, uh, yeah. Write the question and she will answer it. He will answer. Robert, you can reply Carlos' questions in order you can continue with the conversation. To chair, for example, like we in the same message, in the same post, I'm going to. Um, Reply to yeah no but uh, for example one post for one people for one person sorry one post for two okay for example Carlos will will uh, um... in the same post we are going to write all of the questions correct ah okay that's that's it okay because you can add a, add a comment here okay pueden agregar el comentario y donde se van a reply Van a responder, ¿ok? Ok. Robert, you can reply here to Carlos. Donde dice add comments, ¿ok? Ahí le puede responder. Ah, ok. Pero eso sería para la primera pregunta. Para todas. Todas. Para las siete ah. preguntas, ¿verdad? Sí, yes. Mm -hmm. Ah, ok. Y ahí en ese mismo yo tengo que crear mi conversación para que tú contestes mi, la, las preguntas que yo te haga. Correcto, en el mismo. En el mismo, oh, ok. Ok. Ay, Gerit. Ok. Uh, write your name at the beginning of the post. Escriban el nombre al, al principio para que no se pierdan, ok. Teacher, antes de hacer el comentario, agregamos el nombre. Sí, lo pueden hacer así como lo ha hecho Carlos. Lo, el nombre es el que saco en negrita y luego abajo se escriben sus preguntas. Ok. Eh, don Gilberto, esa es la pregunta que me ha hecho, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok. Y teacher, sí. y... Necesito poner mi nombre porque don Gilberto ha puesto Rolando, did you work last week? Weekend. Necesito okay. poner mi nombre ahí. No, ¿verdad? Vaya, se lo voy a editar. Uh... No, no, no. 
eh, necesito poner mi nombre antes de escribir la respuesta. No. No, Sí. vale. Por ejemplo, No, aquí voy a poner Gilberto ok. en Rolando. Ok. Vaya, sé que este, este es el chat de ustedes dos. Entonces, Gilberto quería decirle, did you work last weekend? Eso le quería preguntar, Gilberto. Pues... Sí, pero o sea, primero se la hice así para después ponérsela de esa manera que usted la está escribiendo, ¿verdad? Ok, ya, le, ya se la escribí yo acá. Ahora, your answer, Rolando. How Ok. will be your answer to that question? Ok. Luego que responda Rolando, vuelve a escribir usted otra pregunta, Gilberto. Ok. Teacher, quiero mi partner. Mauricio is your partner, Liliana. Okay, thank you. Carlos. Carlos, ¿al señor? Hola, hola, hola. Ok, si hubiese esperado para responderle Hola, las hola. otras, si hubiese esperado para escribirle las otras preguntas, si hubiese esperado la respuesta de Robert. Ok, lo Ah, que puede, ok, lo que sí, puede hacer es sí, copiarlas, no. copiarlas y pegarlas, y a cuando él le responda la primera, yo uh, add the, the second one, ok. Ok, sí, sí, no problem. No sé si me si 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 me han entendido eh, el la dinámica de la de la actividad. Ah, Robert. sí, sí, teacher, ahorita, eh, cuando Carlos me, me hizo la primera pregunta, yo le voy a contestar y él me va a hacer la siguiente, así sucesivamente. Yes, correct. Mm -hmm. Ok, ok. Okay. Teacher, it's it's fine like this. Is It's fine like like this. Yes, it is. Es así, está bien así, okay. Okay, how many times did you shower yesterday? Okay, Robert, I'm waiting your answer there. Okay, yes, I did. I worked last weekend from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Okay, Gilberto, you can add the, the second question here. Puede agregarle la otra. Okay. Silvia, Silvia, can you hear me? Silvia, hola, hola, okay, remember, hola, yes, remember that this question is for Salvador, ajá, okay, está, está se la esperando va, la conversación. pero se la va a hacer directa a él, when did you arrive? Ah, ajá. Ok, es para él. Ajá. No, es, no va a usar terceras personas aquí porque está hablando. Está hablando directo con él. Uh, when did you arrive in the park last week? When did you arrive? When did you arrive? Uh, pero no sé esa pregunta. Mm, no sé si Salvador tenga una respuesta para esa pregunta. Porque no es como... I don't know if, if he went to the park last weekend uh, or, or last week, I'm sorry. Bueno, well, entonces la cambio. Yes. Y puede ser when or what time did you arrive 
at work yesterday or today in the morning. I don't know. Okay. Robert? Uh, sorry, Carlos. Hello, teacher. Puede, puede eh, agregar esa pregunta como replying the comment. Eh, ah. Ajá. Para que yes. se vea el orden como la secuencia. You, you, you ask a question, then there is an answer, right? And then you ask another question, there is another answer. Like that, teacher? Like that, yes. Okay. What was the last thing you bought? Mm -hmm. Good. Gilberto, what will be your second question? Hey, uh, yeah. Ya la estoy finalizando. Okay. okay. See, teacher. When did you arrive at home yesterday night? Uh huh. Yes. What time did you arrive? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Podría ser what time? Okay. What time did you arrive at home yesterday night? Okay. Okay. Uh, Andres. Hi, it says, did you visit the Tunco Beach the last vacations? Okay, porque five, five years, uh, mm, es, esa frase se hace en otro tiempo, okay? En, otro, en otro tiempo, uh, por ejemplo, estamos hablando como de present uh, participle o past participle, okay? Pero en esto lo podría hacer Last vacations. The last vacation, okay. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna change. Okay. <laughs> it was my lunch. Okay. What did you eat for breakfast? What did you eat for breakfast? Um uh... Gilberto, vamos a continuar en la misma. Por ejemplo, esta que usted tiene acá, did you arrive to the company all week? Mm, did you at, did you work? Ok, pero vamos a reply abajo en el mismo post para que no tenga otro post. Gilberto, okay. aquí, aquí donde dice add comments, agregar comentario, le vamos a hacer la siguiente pregunta a Gilberto. Did you work Did you write to the company all week? Did you work? Did you work the whole week? Trabajaste toda la semana. Okay? Y luego se la, uh, la postea aquí. Ok, le da enter y ya le queda ahí. Ok, try to write the question there.
Did you work the whole week? Did you work the the complete week? I'm going to delete this one, okay? Voy a borrarle esta y continúelo aquí en el mismo post. Okay. Thank you. Okay, he's missing Liliana. Liliana, I don't see your your post. No veo su 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 conversación, Liliana. Aquí lo pueden editar, okay? Si por algún motivo se le fue eh, la pregunta sin terminarla, click here in the three dots, en los tres puntitos. Then edit comment. Are you there, Liliana? Opción de edición. ¿Dónde está el más, teacher? Sí, Liliana. ¿Dónde está el signo más? <risa> es que no me está. Or you can start, uh, Mauricio. Si Liliana no comienza la conversación, usted la puede comenzar. Yes, teacher. I'm going to start. Okay, thank you. Okay. I was eating pizza and some fruits. What did you eat for breakfast? I ate. Okay, la respuesta sería aquí. I ate pizza. El verbo en pasado, okay? Esto lo, lo editamos. Gilberto, <clears throat> digo, Roberto, I ate pizza, okay, and some fruits. Did you like, did you like last movie you saw? You watch, <clears throat> you watched. Did you cry about? Why did you cry? Why did you cry? Why, yes, teacher. No, what? Aha, uh -huh. why? Por qué llora yo? Por qué lloraste? <laughs> or when did you cry last time? Cuando fue la última vez que lloraste? When did you cry last time? Like that, teacher? When did you cry about recently? When? Mm, no la veo, no veo el cambio. When? When did you cry about recently? Es, es así? Mm, when did you cry last time? Puede decir, ¿cuándo fue la última vez que lloraste? When ah, did okay. you cry last time? Uh -huh. Okay, when did you cry last time? <gasps> Guys, I didn't realize about the time. I'm sorry. Okay. We Teacher, are going... es que está buena esto. Mañana continúe así. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, we are going to continue tomorrow. I'm sorry, okay? But okay. if you want, you can complete the, the conversation uh, if you have time. If no, we're going to continue tomorrow. I'm sorry. This excellent. Uh-huh. Teacher, este, <laughs> cuando terminemos las siete preguntas que está haciendo Carlos, hasta ahí llega el ejercicio, o le tengo que preguntar yo también? No, it's okay. No problem. Okay. Uh, Okay, but if you want to stand, extend the, the conversation, you can do it. No problem. Okay, um, guys, tomorrow we're going to complete the co the homework number 16, okay? 16 okay. and 17, I'm sorry. I didn't realize okay. about the time. Okay. Thank you so much for your attendance today. Uh, and see you tomorrow.
Have a good night, okay? Yeah. Have a good night. Okay. Good night, good night teacher. Have a good night. Take care. Take care, bye -bye. teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye.